and welcome to the second lesson of the vocabulary series with me Maha. Uh, this lesson is going to cover the letter BA. I'm going to give you three words with the letter BA. We're going to use interesting words. I'm going to you know, give you some uh, information here and there uh, about each word and we're going to use each word in a sentence. This way you build vocabulary and you will work this vocabulary with all the grammar that you, I gave you in my uh, over 400 grammar Arabic uh, lessons in my YouTube channel here. So, uh, today's letter, of course, it's the second letter of the Arabic alphabet. We've covered uh, Alif last time. My hair is, I have a hair, bad hair day. <laughs> uh, we've covered the Alif. Today, of course, you know, if you know the alphabet, today's uh, the second letter is Ba. It's the letter Ba, and it's normal, pronounced normally just like any, you know, in, uh, in all the other languages. It's not as, as um, uh, a unique Arabic letter, you know, it's just a B, normal B. And the words with the ba, let's begin with the first word, which is the word bait, and it's really important for everybody, bait. Bait means house. One word, for example, uh, one word that we know, that we might hear if you like watch Al Jazeera or Al Arabiya, you know, uh, Arab channel, uh, news channels, um, you might uh, hear the, the, the term Al Bait Al Abyad. Bait, the word, our word for today, which is house, with the article al, al bait, and al abyad. Abyad, abyad. This is abyad. Abyad means white. It's the color white. And al bait, al abyad is the white, the house, the, <laughs> the white house. Huh? Al bait, al abyad, al bait, al abyad. So here they are using our word for today, which is bait, house. Bait is also ha important not only because of al bait, al abyad. Not only for al bayt al abiyad of its you know usual usage in the U.S., but it's important for everybody. Bayti, hmm? bayti. What did we learn of adding an e in the first lesson of this series? Adding an e to all of our words. They make them the possessive. My. So bayt house, bayti is my house. Hmm? Bayti kabir. You can say bayti kabir. My house is kabir. Adding an adjective. Kabir means big. Bayti kabir. Hmm? Uh, or Bayti fi al Quds. Hmm? Bayti fi al Quds. My house is in Jerusalem. Hmm? Bayti fi al Quds. Or in my case, Bayti fi Italia. Bayti fi Italia. My house is in Italy. So, Bayt is the first word for today. Bayt. And remember adding E. Bayti is my house. The sentence was Bayti kabir. Or Bayti fi Italia. Or the word. The interesting word that we might see in the news is al bayt al abyad. Al bayt al abyad. Hmm? Um, the second word with the letter ba, I'm going to use an adjective which is barid. Barid. Barid means cold, but as an adjective. Barid. For example, a um, shay, which means tea. A shay barid. Tea is cold. A shay barid. But if I want to say the coffee is cold, I uh, use the word coffee, which is qahwa, al-qahwa, but barid changes here into barida. Can you guess why? It was barid with shay, a shay barid, and now it's suddenly barida with the word al-qahwa. Why? Because the word al-qahwa is feminine, and you know it from the sound a at the ending, al-qahwa, and you can see it from the symbol ta marbuta at the ending, this small two with the two dots. It's the Tamar Buddha, which is a symbol of feminine, but you already know it if you have studied Arabic. If you still don't know how to make the feminine gender, it's really easy. And I have a full lesson explained on this. So if you click anywhere on my, on my face, if you click now on my face, this will lead you to the lesson of Tamar Buddha, of how to make the feminine gender, in a, in a really well explained, pretty easy you know, video uh, lesson. Click on my face and this will lead you to the Tamar Muta lesson, to the feminine gender. Let's go back to Barid and Barida. And what I'm, I, I, will note, I want to note here is that all it, feminine gender also works with adjectives. That's the strange thing in Arabic. It's not only with words, you know, with nouns, but also with adjectives. So Barid, cold, we have female cold, which is Barida. And since Shay, which is tea, was masculine, so it's very easy as Shay, Barid, the tea is cold. But since we have al qahwa, which is coffee, which is feminine, al qahwa, then I transform my adjective also to the feminine, al qahwa barida. So that makes 
my language more beautiful and it rhymes more. So my, my word is feminine, then my adjective is also feminine. Al-qahwa barida. Al-qahwa... It's like al-qahwa, it's not... The, let's, go, let's use al-madrasa, for example. The school, just to make just to show you that it rhymes. Al-madrasa jamila, not jamil. Madrasa jamila wa kabira wa maftuha. So it all rhymes, okay? Let's go back to uh, our letter, our word barid. It's also an adjective, so it also takes of the tamaguta, which is the feminine gender, if my noun that it follows is a feminine. <laughs> the third, so we've learned um, bait, al bait al abya. We've learned barid as an adjective and barid as a female adjective. And another word is uh, balad. And it's important because balad means two things, country or town, or you know, village, or where you come from, village, town, city, or country, the whole country. Balad can be used in these, so it, it depends on context, on context that you will understand if you're talking specifically from the place of origin, uh, as a city or a town, or the country itself. Balad can mean both things, al-balad. Hmm? You can hear this, for example, al-buldan, which is plural, al-buldan al-arabiya. What is al-buldan al-arabiya? The Arab buldan, the Arab plural balad. Hmm? So the Arab countries in general. Hmm? So in this case, they are talking about countries. They're not talking about the Arab villages. If you hear al-buldan al-arabiya in the news, they're not talking about the small villages. <laughs> talking about the Arab countries in general. Okay, so balad and the plural can be buldan as we have seen it, or bilad, you can also say bilad. They both are correct in Fusha Arabi, in the classical modern standard Arabic. Balad, bilad plural or buldan plural? Balad. Uh, why did balad come to my <laughs> mind? Is that uh, for this last week I've been listening and re listening to a fantastic mawel that Muhammad Asaf sings, which is called Ya Balad. Bahmil my ismik or my 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 voice sucks and I'm not so intonated. But Mawel Muhammad Asaf first is um is the art um. One guy who won the Arab Idol. <laughs> it's not that I watch, yeah, I watch the Arab Idol, but it's not that I'm, you know, I'm obsessed with these um, talent shows. But uh, he has a fantastic story uh, behind him, this guy that won the Arab Idol. He's from Gaza, Gaza, uh, under siege, you know, and he couldn't go out. Uh, and, okay, I'm not going to tell you his story. Probably you know who is Muhammad Asif is, many of you. But if you don't know, he's a really unique guy who overcame all obstacles and obstacles and went and showed how he can sing. And apart from he, his voice, which is fantastic, he's also a really good speaker. You know, he he's very sophisticated in Arabic language, and I love the way he speaks in interviews and everything. And of, and I'm a big fan of him, and I've, I've supported him since day one. And they made a movie, by the way, called The Idol, Ya Tayr al Tayr in Arabic, and it's fantastic, and I advise you to go and watch it. I watched it, and it's nominated for the Oscars! Anyway, I'm making publicity for Ahmed Asif, but it's good, I love it. Uh, uh, anyways, he is famous in making mawaz. Mawal is something also interesting if you're learning Arabic. Mawal is <laughs> usually a small track of, uh, of before your song, he's a singer. So before the song, singers usually uh, make a small, uh, like one or two minute mawal. Mawal means like they show how strong and intonated um, are their voices, you know, and how many tones they can reach, you know. So they show the strength of, of really what they can sing. And then they go to the melody. Usually the mawal is without no, with just with simple music, but without rhythm. So the only music that we hear is the actually the you know the throat or the or the vocal cords of our singer, and and Mawel is so Mawel is so so used in Arabic uh, songs. So you usually hear the Mawel. Oh, you see, wow, he's good, and then you hear the song itself. Hamad Asaf is a fantastic singer, and his Mawels are beautiful. And why did I reach all this stuff? Because he has a very very beautiful Mawel. <laughs> That he sings, and I saw it in one interview, and also in the in the, in the movie itself, which is called Ya Balad, Ya Balad. 
Yeah, but that means like he's talking to his Balad, to his country, to his place of origin, mm? to his land. Yeah, Balad, oh land, oh, oh country. Mm? So he's talking to his country and he, he makes this mawal, well, I'm not going to sing to you for the sake of your, <laughs> of your mental sanity. But uh, I advise you, or maybe I can give you a link below where you can hear Muhammad Astaf sing this small mawal, ya Balad. And it's amazing. And that's why I just came up with the word Balad, <laughs> which means country. And I gave you this example. Right, you see, I'm just like uh, spontaneous. I'll just give you the words that just pump in my head. But I have to be more... Uh, no, maybe it's better not be prepared. Maybe it's more beautiful this way. And there are interesting words anyways. I'm not giving you the word for a finger or, or dog. I'm giving you words that you might hear. And Buldan Arabiya, the Arab countries, or your Balad. Alright, I hope you like this series of lessons. I will see you in the third uh, lesson of this series, third letter. Um, if you have any words that you want to know their meaning in Arabic, please comment below so I have more uh, preparation, you know, to give you some more interesting examples of the word that you want to know in Arabic. And I want your help, as I told you, in sharing these uh, new series, sharing these videos with your friends so I, I have... Um, I reach more people as I used to do before I neglected my channel. Alright, I still love you and I'm still doing videos, so I want this love back now that you have the power of sharing. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you next uh, lesson. Kiss you and ma'asalaba. Bye. <laughs> رح يرجعون